The Kerch Strait, a narrow body of water separating Ukraine from mainland Russia, has been a key component in the war between the two nations. Since the eruption of the conflict, the recently built Russian bridge has become the solitary direct link between their vast transportation network and the Crimean Peninsula. As such, the critical passage has frequently faced assaults during the ongoing conflict. In August, over a span of seven days, six shadowy structures materialized in a row near the bridge. With a dark tint around them, the shapes appear to be part of a warfare technique used since antiquity, a cunning protection for a major lifeline for the Russian contingent. But according to Ukraine, they are but a small obstacle on their path to a bridge they have vowed to destroy. The Kerch Strait is a body of water that separates the Crimean Peninsula and the Taman Peninsula on the Russian mainland. Proposals to build a bridge across the Kerch Strait, connecting the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov, have been considered as early as the 20th century. Despite surviving the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, no project was finalized, especially as relations between the two nations soured. On March 19, 2014, a day after Russia formally claimed Crimea, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced plans to construct a unilateral substantial road rail bridge over the geopolitically crucial strait. Construction on this instrumental project began in 2016. With a total cost of 3.7 billion US dollars, the bridge was completed in slightly over two years. The swift construction pace raised questions among critics regarding its design quality. Regardless, in May 2018, President Putin inaugurated the bridge connecting the Russian mainland with the Annex Peninsula. It spans 12 miles, making it both the longest bridge in Europe and Russia's longest ever construction project. Constructed despite Ukraine's strong objections, the Kerch Strait Bridge, or Crimean Bridge, stands as the most visible and constant reminder of Russia's claim over the area, serving as a source of pride in local culture. Today, the bridge is vital in supplying fuel, food, and other goods to Crimea, where the port of Sevastopol, the historic home base of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, is located. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the bridge has also become a significant supply route for Russian forces, leading to multiple attacks since the start of the conflict. Following the invasion that February, Ukraine called for the bridge's destruction. In the early hours of October 8, 2022, a truck-borne bomb exploded on the Crimean Bridge, resulting in a massive fire and the collapse of the vehicle lanes leading from Russia to the city of Kerch. This incident caused several oil tanker wagons to ignite. Notably, this incident occurred just one day after Russian President Vladimir Putin's 70th birthday, and a week after Russia announced annexing four Ukrainian regions. Almost immediately, Vladimir Konstantinov, the chairman of the State Council of Crimea, attributed the large explosion to a Ukrainian attack. However, at the time, no group claimed responsibility for the attack, and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky stated that the Ukrainian government did not order it. Limited traffic resumed on the remaining lanes shortly after the attack, and Russian authorities aimed to complete repairs by July 2023. Following the bridge damage, and without openly acknowledging responsibility for the attack, Mikhailo Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of President Zelensky, posted on social media, quote, Crimea, the bridge, the beginning. Everything illegal must be destroyed. Everything stolen must be returned to Ukraine. And everything belonging to the Russian occupation must be expelled. Nine months later, on July 17, 2023, traffic on the road and rail bridge was abruptly halted due to an emergency situation. Satellite imagery confirmed that explosions had again targeted Putin's prized Crimean bridge for the second time in a year. This time, the structure suffered two underwater strikes before dawn, causing at least one section of the road bridge to collapse, leading to rail service suspension. In stark contrast to the previous attack, Ukraine formally accepted responsibility for the July incident on the Kerch Bridge. According to an official statement, the attack resulted from a joint operation involving the Security Service of Ukraine, known by its acronym SBU, and the country's navy, utilizing uncrewed surface vessels, or USVs. Ukraine also disclosed the experimental design used in this attack, the Sea Baby. This drone packs hundreds of pounds of explosives and is faster than anything in the Black Sea. Several weeks later, 
CNN released the first publicized video of the remote-controlled sea drone attack on the Russian bridge. The footage consists of real-time imagery from the drone's perspective as it approaches the bridge and abruptly ends upon impact with the concrete, hitting it with up to 1,800 pounds of explosives. According to the head of the security service of Ukraine, Vasil Malyuk, the development of this uncrewed surface vessel began immediately after the full-scale Russian invasion in February 2022. Such explosive-laden craft, like the Sea Baby, are increasingly gaining popularity as weapons in the ongoing and complex campaign around the Black Sea. In early August, the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine's defense ministry, or GUR, theorized that Russia was sinking its own ferries in the Kerch Strait to create a barrier that would protect the bridge from a future uncrewed surface vessel or USV attack. At the time, the spy agency reported that one ship had already been sunk and was getting ready to sink at least six ferries in the strait. Since then, the event has been confirmed through satellite photography. Images captured by Planet Labs from August 19th show no objects in the water south of the bridge. However, two days later, two small vessels appear on the scene, followed by another one on the 23rd. Photos taken on August 29th show seven partially submerged vessels positioned uniformly. They are located about 15 miles north of where the mouth of the Kerch Strait meets the Black Sea, likely the route Ukrainian USVs have taken to reach the bridge before. It is still unknown what kind of ships Russia used to create the bridge blockade. It is also possible that, in addition to the sunken vessels, Russia will also suspend chains or nets between them to further strengthen the barriers. The nets, also known as booms, can have fences on top to prevent fast maritime drones from crossing over them. Block ships, intentionally submerged vessels designed to obstruct narrow waterways from the enemy, have a rich history in naval warfare, dating back to at least the 11th century. In fact, this is not the first time Russia has used block ships in the war. But this makeshift barrier may not be as effective as initially thought. According to a press interview with Stephen Wright, a drone technology developer, the sunken vessel barrier is likely to be only moderately effective against surface and underwater drones. Quote, I can see that these block ships could be useful against a different kind of attack, perhaps a large ship being hijacked and rammed into the bridge, or even manned submarines. But against a weapon as small and agile as the sea drones that we have seen, though? They won't stop that. On September 2nd, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced that three Ukrainian semi-submersible unmanned boats targeting the Kerch Strait Bridge were destroyed over the Black Sea. However, these claims have yet to be verified by Ukrainian officials. Over the summer of 2023, Ukraine has been racing to expand its fleet of maritime drones to counter Russian naval dominance on the Black Sea. According to American officials, this series of assaults are intended to demonstrate to the Ukrainian public that Kyiv can still strike back, even as the counteroffensive moves to reclaim Russian-occupied territory at a painstakingly slow pace. In the face of ongoing tensions and desire to regain control of their occupied territories, as of early fall 2023, Ukraine maintains a resolute stance regarding the 12-mile-long structure. The symbolic Kerch Strait Bridge must be destroyed.